Oh man, what a week this week, and it's only just beginning. It's, what the hell is going on in the gaming world? First up, Disney bought Maker Studios. You might not know Maker Studios themselves, but you will know the channel Polaris probably. There's a lot of gaming stuff on there. There's the awesome Game Grumps, PewDiePie, all those cool dudes are now part of the Disney Corporation. You also know Disney from those people who shut down LucasArts after they didn't want more games. Star Wars isn't selling anyway, right? Anyway, that's point one. Point two, Facebook bought Oculus Rift. What? No one really... Consumers are pissed. Admittedly, it's going to probably be very good for Oculus Rift themselves, but since this is a campaign that originally started on Kickstarter, marketed towards gamers, it's probably going to require some damage control down the line. That's a shame. Still, Oculus Rift, you shouldn't count it out immediately. It's probably still going to do some awesome things just tied to one of the most evil corporations in the entire planet. Moving on, California Senator Leland Lee was arrested on corruption charges. Why am I saying that? Leland Lee, the senator, was behind that movement that violent video games should be banned until the Supreme Court ruled it out. Now, he seems that he's not so moral himself. Is anyone really surprised? Nope. Wolfenstein, the new order, has a collector's edition. And it doesn't actually have the game inside of it. I didn't think we lived in an age where it's self-explanatory that a game should be inside of your collector's edition. Apparently, Wolfenstein doesn't think so. It's justified that you wouldn't have to wait around for your game to show up, but I have no idea why that's something that you shouldn't just pack inside of your giant box anyway. Uh, it's just... That's probably the weirdest marketing ploy that happened this year. So good job, Vesda. You're going down the history books. Sonic Lost World has a Zelda expansion and it looks weird as hell. That's just Sonic these days. It's um, weird. That's all you can really say. IGN had the scoop around it. Nobody else apparently is deemed fit well enough to cover that news. Um, but it isn't the first time that Sonic Lost World has done so. They've also had some crossover with um, Yoshi content added earlier on. And let's face it, it's nowhere near as weird as Sonic Boom. At least the uh, fanfic people will be very happy. Last up, War of Vikings has another 5 gigabyte update after several more to 10 gigabyte updates and after mentioning a few times that they wouldn't anymore. I wrote an entire thing about that. Maybe you'd like to read it. Who really knows? Cares? I don't. You just. Whatever. Never mind. It looks like this will be a very challenging news week to lift through, but maybe a few more surprises to go. Who knows? Stick around. Bye.